Hello, hello. Hello, it's me. Hello, my dear students. Hello, hello. I will send you a message to see where you are. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Let me see. I am going to go here. Okay. Okay. I am waiting for my students to appear. Ah, the first one. Hello, Wilfredo. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm fine. I am excellent. I'm very glad to see you once again in uh, another class. Today we're going to work a lot on the platform. We're going to work on the different exercises that we have there. So uh, we're going to develop all the final parts of the exercises that we have in the platform. So we can see that everything is complete. Okay. I am going to send another message for your friends to see where they are. We are waiting for you. Hello, Helen. We are waiting for you. Okay. So, hey, Helen, you're very fresh. That's very nice. You are very fresh and nice. Hello, Alexis. Hello, Estreberto. Hello, hello. hello. And for sure, hello, Mr. Jose Wilfredo, that you were the first one to connect today. Hey, hello, Delia. Welcome to the class. We are going to start today by working a little bit on some final exercises and then we are going to go to the platform right we're going to go to the platform and finish every single exercise that we are missing okay so um there we go okay uh, today we're going to start by practicing a little bit of reading we're going to practice a little bit of reading and then i need you to pay attention on the reading because we are going to ask some questions about it, ¿ok? Después de que leamos el párrafo, les voy a presentar cinco o seis preguntas. Así que ustedes tienen que analizar bien la información que tenemos en el párrafo para que las puedan contestar correctamente, ¿ok? Hello, Manuel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ok, so here we go. The first thing that I need you to do is the following. I need you to identify, identify the verbs in present continuous. I need you to identify the verbs in present continuous. You can get your pencil on Zoom and you can make a line on the different verbs that have present continuous, okay? Pueden ocupar el lapicito que les sale ahí en la 
<ríe> ya, ese. <ríe> el lapicito que les sale en la, en la, la plataforma. Y para que puedan ir marcando los verbos que están en presente continuo. Go ahead. Okay, very good. Thank you. Hello, Laura. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that looks like a tripachuca. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Solo que en la computadora no sé cómo lo hago. Okay, I think on the options. En las opciones no le sale un lapicito que dice anotar. Ah. Me abruma la tecnología. <risa> Hay una barra, una barra donde están los participantes, el chat. Anotar, eso es. Ajá, anotar. Y ahí le va a dar otra barra arriba donde están las opciones. Y, sí, ahí, es, y ahí escoge donde dice dibujar y ahí escoge la pista. Ya me lo ganaron el que había visto. Ay, <risa> toque, okay, toque. Ok, thank you, thank you. Continue, continue. Good, good, good. Hello, Lionel. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi, good hi. Good evening. Here I have. Daniel López. Ok, Daniel siempre nos pregunta por el link, así que se lo voy a mandar de un solo. <laughs> Good. So I think I have many of the many of the verbs in ING. Let's check which ones are correct. Let's check which ones are correct and which ones are not correct. It says, it's Saturday. It's raining a lot, right? It's raining a lot. And Mary and her family are spending the afternoon at home. Her uncles are visiting them. Mary and her father are in the living room. Living room no es un verbo en ING, porque living room es un lugar de la casa. Yes. Okay, living room es la sala. The next one, you have Mary is making a draw in, uh, in her father. Mr. Harris is surfing the net. Yes, surfing. Está navegando en internet. They are also talking. That's very good. They are also talking. Mary's older brother, Peter, is in his bedroom playing computer games. He is a computer fanatic and he spends much time playing on the computer. His little brother, Jim, is also in the living room. En este caso, living room tampoco entra como un ING, ING verb. Uh, it says he is playing with his dinosaurs collection. Sometimes he teases Mary. Teases, ¿saben qué es el significado de teases? He teases Mary. No. Okay. No, no. He teases Mary. He is a really naughty boy. Teases is like, imagine, uh, I think all of us were little kids, okay? Todos ustedes y la mayoría no me van a dejar mentir que tenían hermanos. Entonces, ¿qué pasa? A veces estábamos sentados a la parte de nuestro hermano viendo tele y estaba. And you were fighting with your brother. Or you were like, eh, bicho feo, bicha feo, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. O se estaban puyando, o se estaban golpeando. Eso es tease, es molestar. Okay? He teases Mary. He is a really naughty boy. When you say he's a naughty boy, es malvado. Es un niño malvado. Uh, Mary's mother, Mrs. Harris, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. She is making, she's making some tea and talking to Mary's uncles. Lucy and Tom, they are 
the nearest uh, from the nearest town and they stop by to say hello. Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping on the kitchen sofa. We can't see him in the picture, but he's a true fluffy cat. Okay, so all the ones that you mark, just uh, omitting uh, living room, here we have visiting as well. They are ING forms. Here we have all of them. So um, we're going to divide this into three different paragraphs, okay? I am going to divide this one into one part. This is part number one. This is going to be part number two. And this is going to be part number three. Okay, part number three. I need you please, I need all of you please to get a screenshot. Second a screenshot, por favor. A screenshot. Screenshot. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got it? Good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, we are going to go and work in groups of three. You are going to divide the paragraph one paragraph each, and you are going to practice reading, okay? When we come back, each group is going to read the paragraph, okay? Lo voy a dividir en grupos de tres. En el grupo se dividen los párrafos y lo practican, okay? Vamos a tener alrededor de tres minutos para que lo practiquen. Y cuando regresemos, Cada grupo va a tener la oportunidad de leer el párrafo para todos. Y vamos a hacer reading and correction, ¿ok? We are going to go to working groups right now. Ok, let me just divide you in the different groups. And we go. Ok. We are going to create four groups groups of three and one group of two. Okay. El grupo de dos, ahí se divide el párrafo en dos partes. Okay. So let's go and work. Okay. Let's go and work. And I need you please to practice the reading. I, yo voy a estar visitando cada uno de los grupos por si tienen preguntas de pronunciación y las vamos a ir haciendo. Recuerden que al momento de leer se lee de corrido hasta el primer Eh, punto o la primera coma que tengamos ahí hacemos una pequeña pausa ok, let's go and practice the reading right now ahí les va a llegar la invitación para que se unan a los grupos pequeños Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Álvaro, eh, no sé si te llegó la invitación para unirte al grupo. There you go, perfect. So all the students are in groups. They are going to practice the reading for a moment. And then what they are going to do is to come back and read for everybody. With this one, we are going to be practicing rhythm, intonation, intonation fluency and also uh, the different words and the pronunciation. Let's go and see how students are doing. Okay. Buena, pre buena pregunta. Eso no sé, no sé cómo se hace. Yo lo tengo en el teléfono. Espérate. Ajá. Pero es que en compartir. Para compartir Uy, la teacher. pantalla. Ajá. ¿Cómo hacemos para Ay. compartir? There you go. Podemos compartir la pantalla, teacher. Yes. Yes. Oh. Ahí en la barra de opciones le sale eh, eh, compartir pantalla. Y usted, ahorita yo la estoy compartiendo, pero para que ustedes lo puedan ver, para que ustedes lo puedan hacer, dejo de compartir yo. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Eh, yes. En... A nosotros, bueno, somos la sala número uno, entonces, por ende, el primer párrafo, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Ustedes van a leer los tres párrafos. O sea, solo uno que... Uno, usted, ajá, exactamente. Ustedes tres se van a dividir 
un párrafo cada uno. Okay. Voy a dejar de compartir yo para que ustedes puedan compartir el screenshot. Okay. ¿Alguien puede compartir o, o intento yo compartirlo? Ahorita ya tienen todos el, 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 el permiso para que todos puedan compartir. Cualquiera lo puede hacer. Va con todo Estreberto. <risa> Estreberto que no le gusta que, que lo veamos en la compu. There pone, you go. Pone, pone un TikTok mejor. Lo puedes hacer, eh, por, lo puedes poner eh, horizontal. Ahora. Ahí estamos. Excelente. There you go. Hombre, si no. Ahí. <risa> Hey, no. buena, hey. Ahí está. Ok. Hasta la secreta. Ok. No, nadie vio, nadie vio. No tengo. Omitan todo eso. Ya, ah, ya, nadie vio, nadie vio nada. Aquí nadie vio nada. No, no. No, no. Eh. no nada. Ok. Ok, so ahí eh, ustedes se pueden dividir quién va a leer qué párrafo y cuando volvamos, usted, el grupo va a leer, los tres van a leer al mismo tiempo. Ok, van a leer, por ejemplo, el que le tocó el 1, el que le tocó el 2, el que le tocó el 3, va a leer cada quien el párrafo y el, el feedback en general va a ser para el grupo número 1, o sea, todos ustedes. Si José se equivoca, también es culpa del grupo 1 porque no lo corrigió. Ok, así que a practicar. Voy a ir a ver qué están haciendo los otros grupos. No hace que estén haciendo relajo. Ya vengo. Sí, okay. quiero ver. Ahora sigue Delia. Con el verde va. Uh -huh. La démosle Delia. Mary, Sol. Ay, no sé cómo se dice ese. Holder. Ah, sí. Ah, bueno. Mary is older, brother Peter is in his room playing computer games. He is a computer fanatic and he has spent much time playing, playing <laughs> on the computer. His little brother, Jean, is also in the living room. The living room. Uh, living room. He is playing with his dinosaur. He is playing his dinosaur. Dinosaur, right? Mm -hmm. This dinosaur. Dinosaur, uh -huh. dinosaur. Collection summit sometimes. <laughs> He. ¿Cómo se dice eso? This is teacher. How teacher. is the pronunciation? Uh -huh. It says sometimes he teases Mary. Teases. Teases. Teases Mary. Thank you, Mary. Teases Mary. Uh -huh. He's a uh, really no. No, no, naughty, 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 naughty boy. He's a really naughty boy. Naughty. Okay. Really naughty boy. He is a really naughty boy. He's a really naughty boy. Yes, He's a really naughty boy. Okay, me quedo con él. Okay, yo leo el último. Okay. Mary's mother, Mr. Harry, is. Harris is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. She is making some tea and talking to Mary's uncle. Lucy and Tom, they are from the nearest? Nearest. 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 Voy a anotarlo. Nearest. Nearest. Nearest town and stop it by to say hello. Good, very good. Luffy, the, the family cat is sleeping on the kitchen, on the kitchen sofa. We can see him in the picture, but he is true Fluffy cat. 
He's a truly a fluffy. Ah, he is a true fluffy, a true cat. fluffy cat. Okay. Fluffy cat. Fluffy cat. So I am going to read number two because I can see that you have some difficulties. It says, Mary's older brother, Petey, is in his bedroom playing computer games. He's a computer fanatic and he spends much time playing on the computer. His little brother, Jim, is also in the living room. He is playing with his dinosaurs collection. Sometimes he teases Mary. He is a really naughty boy. Okay. Okay. Because that was the one that I listened with more difficulties. Practice again, and I'm going to come back. I am going to go and see the other groups to see how they are doing, and I am going to come back in a second, okay? Okay. okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, there you go. Sería Mary's mother. Mr. Harris is in the kitchen preparing. Okay, this is Mrs. Mrs. Harris. Mrs. Harris. Mrs. Harris. Mrs. Harris is in the kitchen. Is in the kitchen preparing. The kitchen preparing mm -hmm. uh, a snack mm -hmm. for all kidding. time. She is, she is making, making, making so, something and, and talking to Mary's uncles. Lucy and Tom, yeah. they are from the, the, the next to Tom. Town, 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 town. Um, um, stop by to say hello. Uh -huh. Fluffy and the family cat is sleeping on the kitchen sofa. We can see hay in Picture, but he's too <laughs> fluffy cat. Fluffy cat. Fluffy Fluff. cat. Uh -huh, fluffy, fluffy cat. Okay. Cuando leemos, cuando leemos, tenemos que recordar que cada coma o cada punto es una pausa. Ok, aquí por ejemplo la primera oración es toda esta, hasta aquí, donde dice them, pero tenemos ciertas pausas. Dice por ejemplo, Mary's mother, Mrs. Harris, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. Hasta ahí hacemos la pausa. She is making some tea and talking to Mary's uncles, Lucy and Tom. Hasta ahí termina esa oración. They are from the nearest town and stop by to say hello stop. Fluffy, coma, the family cat, y hacemos otra pausa, is sleeping on the kitchen's sofa. We can't see him in the picture, but he is a true fluffy cat. Eso le va a dar la entonación al momento de leer. ¿Por qué? Porque el inglés no tiene ni tildes ni otras marcas que les puedan marcar ahí cómo va la entonación. Pero si ustedes respetan la puntuación, van a poder leer de manera ordenada, porque no es lo mismo que leamos Mary's mother, Mrs. Harris, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. Okay, a que leamos. Mary's mother, Mrs. Harris, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. Ahí ya vemos la intonación. Entonces, veamos las otras preguntas, veamos las otras eh, secciones. You say, it's a rainy Saturday. Ahí se acaba la primera oración. It's raining a lot and Mary and her family are spending the afternoon at home. Another sentence. Her uncles are visiting them. Another sentence. Mary and her father are in the living room. Another sentence. Mary is making a draw and her father, Mr. Harris, is surfing the net. Hasta aquí se acaba. They are also talking. Okay. Así se pueden ir marcando dónde es que van a ir haciendo las pausas y cómo se van a ir ordenando al momento de leer. Okay. So, 
practice again. Lo voy a dejar para que practiquen una vez más. Y lo podamos hacer ya ordenado así como eh, lo estábamos practicando. Ok. So I am going to check the next group. And I am going to come back in a second. Ok. Hello, hello. Hello. Ajá, ya lo terminamos. Ya practicaron. Eh, hello. Ah, ajá, va a ver, poco. compartamos, compartamos y lo leemos, a ver cómo lo leemos. Vaya. Ajá. Eh, voy yo con el primero. Go ahead. It's a rainy Saturday. It's a raining. A Lut and Mary and her family are spending the afternoon at home. Her uncle are visiting them. Mary and her father are in the living room. Mary is making a draw and her father. Mr. Harris is a surfing the net. They they are talking. Uh -huh. ¿Quién sigue? Mary, older brother. Peter is in his bedroom playing computer. Jane is a computer fanatic. on the computer. His little brother, Jim, is also in the living room. He's playing with Dinosaur collection. Sometimes he teaches Mary. He is a really nice boy. And the last one. Mary's mother, Mr. Harris, is in the kitchen preparing at snacks for Holden. She's making some tea and talking to Mary Uglis. Lucy and Tom, they are from Nears to an stupid uh, beetle say hello. Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping on the kitchen. So far, we can see we can see him in the picture, but he is a true fluffy cat. Okay, pronunciation things. We have, it's a rainy Saturday. Rainy Saturday, it's raining. It's raining. Her uncles are visiting them. Mary and her father are in the living room. Mary is making a draw. Uh, Mr. Harris is surfing, is surfing the net. They are also talking. The next one, the pronunciation, computer, computer, right? Computer, computer, computer. Naughty, naughty. Mrs. Harris, Mrs. Harris in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them right, for all of them. She's making some tea and talking to Mary's uncles, Lucy and Tom. They are from the nearest town, town, and a stop by, stop by to say hello, right, and fluffy, fluffy cat, okay? We're going to stop here and we're going to go back to the main room to practice all together, okay? Let's see. Let's go back to the groups. Okay, my dear students, we're going to go and read. We're going to read the paragraph. Ready groups? Ready. Ready, ready. Let's do this. Okay. I am going to share Feliz the noche. <laughs> Feliz noche. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> sí, 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 sí. Uh -huh. Ronnie is going to be the first one that because of that. <laughs> Ronnie's group is going to be the first one. Solo por eso. <laughs> está bueno, está bueno. Póngale, que yo comienzo también. Yo voy okay. <laughs> Okay, Ronnie's group. You are group number, let me see. One. Yeah, group number one. Ronnie, action. Teacher, teacher solo, va. Primero, teacher, eh, 
saquemos de alguna duda la pronunciación y luego <risa> no, ahí en, en lo que lo van leyendo yo se lo voy a ir marcando y después se lo voy a, a aclarar go ahead ok, 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 thank you go ahead it's, it's, it is a rainy Saturday mm -hmm. it is a raining a lot in Mary and her family are Speeding the afternoon at home. Her uncles are visiting the Mary and her father are in the living room. Mary is making a draw, and her father, Mr. Harris, is surfing the need. They are also talking. Continúo yo, entonces. Yeah, number two, ajá. Mary's older two. brother, Peter, is in his bedroom playing computer games. He is a computer fanatic, and he spent much time playing on the computer. His little brother, Jim, is uh, else, no sé cómo se pronuncia, Continue. In the living room, he is playing with his dinosaur collection. Sometimes he teases Mary. He is a really naughty boy. The next one. Number three is uh, Mary's mother, Mr. Harry, is in the, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. She's smoking something and talking to Mary, aunties, Lucy and Tom. They are from the near to our shopping be to say hello. Fluffy, the, Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping on the kitchen sofa sofa we can see here in the picture but he is three to pick up okay yeah. group number two i am very going good. to change the color excellent job very good group number two yay okay uh -huh. group number two it is Delia, Edward, and Manuel. And me? Okay. It's raining Saturday. It's raining a lot, Mary, and their family, and the spinning and afternoon. And uh, home. Your only are a visiting Mary, father, and the living room. Mary is waking and dry, and the father, Mr. Harris, is is surfing and the net. Dear her, I must take him. Mary is also brother. Peter is in this bedroom playing computer games. He is a computer fanatic. And he has spent much time playing on the computer. He learning brother, Jean is also in the living room. He is playing with his dinosaur collection. Sometimes he teases Mary. He is a really naughty boy. Okay, well, you they say Mary's mother, Mr. Harris, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. She is making some tea and talking to Mary's uncle, Lucy and Tom. They are from the nearest town and stop to say hello. Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping on the kitchen sofa. We can see him in the picture, but he is a true fluffy cat. Very good, group number two. Group number three. Chun, chun, chun. 
group number three. It okay, is okay. Edwin, Helen, Lionel, and Victor. <clears throat> Okay, um, it's a rainy Saturday. It's raining a lot and Mary and her family are spending the afternoon at home. Her uncles are visit them. Uh, Mary and her father are in the living room. Mary is making a draw and her father, Mr. Harris, is surfing the net. They are also talking. Um. Mary's older mother, brother, bro, older brother, uh, Peter, is in his bedroom playing computer games. He is a computer fanatic and he spends much time playing on the computer. His little brother, Jean, Jean is also in the living room. He is playing <clears throat> with his dinosaur collection. Sometimes he's this Mary, he's a really naughty boy. Mary's mother, Miss Harris, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. She is making some tea and talking to Mary's uncle, Lucy and Tom. They are from the nearest town and stopped up to say hello. Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping in the kitchen sofa. We can see him in the picture, but she is a true fluffy cat. Very good. And that's it. Okay, group number three. Very good job. Group number four, last but not least, Alexis, group Alvaro, Laura, and Rene. Number four. Group number. Group, group number, number four. And number I am four. going to go with blue. Okay, group number four. Okay. Uh, it's a rainy Saturday. It's a raining. A lot Mary and her family are spending the afternoon at home. Her uncle are busy visiting them. Mary and her father are in the living room. Mary is, mer is making a draw and her father, Mr. Harris, is a surfing the net. They are also talking. Mary, older brother, Peter, is in his bedroom playing computer games. He's a computer fanatic and he has spent much time playing on the computer. His little brother, Jim, is also in the living room. He is playing with his dinosaur's collection. Sometimes he teases Mary, he is a really naughty boy. Uh -huh. Number three. Mary's mother, Mr. Harris. Is in the kitchen prepare snacks for all them. She's making some tea. She's making some tea and talking to Mary's uncles. Lucy and Tom, they are from near to an stupid beat to say hello. Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping on the kitchen sofa. We can see him. In the picture, be bad. He's true fluffy cat. Okay, he's a true fluffy cat. Thank you very much, group number four. Yay! Okay, as you can see there, it looks like a little uh, rainbow of uh, pronunciation mistakes. Listen to the correct pronunciation. It's a rainy Saturday. Rainy, rainy. It's raining a lot, rainy. and Mary, rainy. Mary, rainy. and her family Mary. are spending and, and, the afternoon spending at home. Yeah. Her at uncles home. are visiting them. Her, uncle her are uncles visiting. are visiting them. 
Mary oh, and her okay. father. Okay, Mary and her father are in the living room. Mary is room. making a draw and her father. Mr. Harris is surfing Peter the net. Harris. Is surfing the net. They, they the are net. also talking. Mary's They're older brother, Peter, Peter, is in his Peter bedroom playing in computer in games. Okay, play he's computer. playing computer oh. games. The pronunciation is computer, right? He's a computer fanatic and he spends much time playing on the computer. His little brother, Jim, is also in the living room. He's playing with his dinosaur collection. Sometimes he teases Mary. He's a really naughty boy. Mary's mother, Mrs. Harris, Mrs. Harris, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. She is making some tea and talking to Mary's uncles, Lucy and Tom. They are from the nearest town and stop by to say hello. Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping on the kitchen sofa. We can't see him in the picture, but he is a true fluffy cat. Okay, that is the pronunciation of the paragraph. I have some questions for you and I am going to go here. What day of the week is it in the reading? Saturday. Saturday. Where is Mary? In the living room. In the living room. What is she doing? She is. She's talking and drawing. And drawing, right? Yeah. What is Mr. Harris doing? Uh, Preparing a snack. Mm, Mr. Surfing. No. Mr. Surfing. Nah. Ah. surfing the net. Surfing in the net, surfing. right? He's surfing in the net. Yeah. Is Mrs. Harris preparing a snack in the kitchen? Yeah. Yes, she is. What is Fluffy the cat doing? What is Fluffy the cat doing? Is sleeping, sleeping in, the in the kitchen sofa. In the kitchen sofa, really? Let's see. He's sleeping in the kitchen sofa. Yes, that's it. Very good job, my dear students. Excellent, excellent. So today we are going to finish our class in these last 15 minutes that we have completing our platform. Let me see if I am sharing the correct screen. There you go. Okay. Para este momento creo que todos ya tienen que tener completo todo, si no me equivoco, ¿sí? Sí. Sí, yes. sí, sí, yes. Yes. Ajá, sí, yes, sí, sí. Ajá, entonces este es el momento para que lo terminemos todos juntos. Ok. We are going to go in section number five. What are you doing? And in this one, this is the final section that we have been working. What are you doing? Let me open it, okay? Siempre se pone nervioso cuando todos la están viendo, así que por eso no carga. Eso le pasa siempre a la plataforma. Okay, there you go. Vamos, no me quedes mal enfrente de los estudiantes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ¿Y qué tal la familia? ¿Cómo han estado? No, here we go. <laughs> here is going right now. Okay, this is section number five. We're going to go over the different exercises that we had in these ones, right? Remember that for this one, we were working on telling the time, right? This is, was the first part that we work on this section. What time is it? It's 20 after two. It's 2.20. The next one, what time is it? And we have four options. What time is it here? Uh -huh. ¿Qué me ayuda? It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7, right? What about here? What time is it? Uh, number two. Uh -huh. We have oh. to write the mm, two possibility uh, answers. Ah, you have two possibilities, right? Yes. Yeah, two possible yes, answers. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Sorry, yes. sorry, sorry. It's 10 to 7 or? 
And it's 6.50. It's 6.50. 50. What about the next one? 8.45. It's 8.45? Or? It's it a quarter to 10. No, uh, 8. A quarter to 9. A quarter to 9. A quarter to 9, quarter to nine, nine. right? Quarter to a quarter nine. to 9. What yeah. about number 4? It's 5 past 11. It's, it's 5 uh -huh. past 11. Good. It's 11.05. It's 11.05. And the next one. What time is it here? It's a uh, quarter past three. A quarter La past última. three and? It's 3.15. It's 3.15. What about yes. this one? It's 4.30. It's 4.30 or? In la primera, half. It's half, half past, past four. four, right? So this was the first evaluation that you had in section number five. Then you had the knowledge, the knowledge check on which you had to listen to the instructions. And for this one, we uh, had to listen to the listening and for sure, answer the different options that you have here. Let me share my audio here. I'm going to go over this one and let's listen. One, are you wearing a coat? Two, what are you doing now? Three. Okay, in this one, it says, listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes, no questions. Select the correct intonation. It says, are you wearing a coat? Is it falling or rising? Rising. 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 Are you wearing a coat, right? Rising. rising. You are rising. going up, right? Are you wearing a coat, right? The next one. What are you doing now? Falling. It's falling, falling, right? Falling. What are you doing now? WH questions go down and uh, yes, no questions go up. Yeah, right. What time is it? It's what falling. time is it? Falling. falling, right? Falling. Is it midnight? Rising. Rising, rising right? It's rising. Rising. What color is his t-shirt? Falling. 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 <laughs> and are you from Thailand? It's rising. 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 rising, right? Rising, 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 and falling. Remember, the just no questions are rising, and the WH questions are falling. Right. Okay. Very good, excellent. So, in this one, in this section, you also had this one that was the one that we did yesterday in class, right? Este lo hicimos ayer en la clase. Lo recuerdan? <laughs> What's Marcos wearing? What is Marcos wearing? He's wearing. He's wearing. Pajamas. Pajamas, right? Pijamas. He's wearing. He's wearing pajamas. This one, no, because you need the verb to be. He is wearing pajamas, right? Uh -huh, Who is having breakfast? Who is having breakfast? Uh huh. Two and mm -hmm. Sue and Tom. And in this one, you have to be very careful because of the spelling. And you have here, Sue and Tom are having breakfast. breakfast. And period, okay? Who are having breakfast? What is Celia wearing? She is wearing a suit. She is suit. wearing a suit. suit. A suit. Sweet is dulce. Okay. Sí. No puede andar un dulce. She's wearing a suit. Why are James and mm -hmm. Anne having lunch? James and, and James and Anne are having lunch because it's noon. Because it is noon. James and Anne are having lunch because it's noon. James and Anne are having. Okay, are having lunch because it is noon. Where is Andre working? Where is Andre working? He is working in Moscow, right? He's working in Moscow. 
There you go. So that is the uh, evaluation that we had here. We also had another little evaluation with uh, different sounds. This one was a little bit complicated because you had many options for the sounds and maybe some of them were kind of curious, right? And here we have a whole variety. In the first one, where is Mary doing? She is driving, right? Let's Answer see. questions about each sound. One. Okay. She's driving. She's driving. Number two. two. She is? Swimming. 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 Good. The mm. next one. Three. She's eating. She's eating. She is eating, right? Four. She's watching television. <laughs> next Wednesday night. She's watching television. Five. Solo que es, perdón, solo que es a mí me dio error, me daba que no, estaba a mano. Teacher. Maybe in the typing form. Quizás Teacher. en cómo le escribió, ajá. Eh, esas opciones solo a usted le aparecen, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, esas son mis opciones, son las que yo les presento a ustedes. Okay. Porque yo se, las, yo se las estoy presentando a ustedes. Pues. Les estoy dando todo el mundo de posibilidades que pueden haber. Okay. No, pero ya, ya las completé, teacher, lástima. Ajá. <risa> Because, for sure. Okay, uh, the next one, she was dancing, riding a bike, playing tennis. And the last one that was the most difficult is that she was typing. She was typing. That was the most complicated of all of them. Okay, so that was basically it for the first part. And in this one, you have the last one was here. You have the conversation that we did yesterday. Ese también la hicimos el día de ayer. Okay. Y también les hice estas preguntas, así que no iba a ser difícil eh, contestarles. Who is writing an essay? Who is writing an essay? Katie. Katie O'Brien. Katie O'Brien. Who is having coffee? Megan. Megan. Megan, right? Meg. Meg Martin. Who is reading a magazine? Carmen. Uh, Carmen. 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 Who is working outside? Kerry's hmm? father. Who is working outside? Hmm? Uh huh. Kerry's father. It's the father, right? The father is working outside. Katie's father. And who is playing soccer? A uh, mother. John. John oh. O'Brien, right? John O'Brien. Am I missing any? Let me see. Ah, this one. Who is working outside? It's Katie's father, right? Who is shopping? It's Katie's mother. Katie's uh. mother, right? And John O'Brien, it's playing soccer. Okay, very good. So we did this one yesterday. Este todavía lo hicimos el día de ayer. Entonces, ahora, lo último que nos queda son nuestras últimas evaluations. Okay. Here we have a, this one. A, it's the listening about a, Justin, Mike, and they are talking about what the things, the things that they are wearing and everything. Let's listen to it. And you are going to help me to answer them, okay? Let's go with the first one. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. Me pueden ir dando las respuestas. One. Your name is interesting, Justine. Are you French? No, I'm not. Are you Italian? She is from Canada. No, I'm Canadian. You're from Canada? Yes. My family is from Montreal originally. Two. Where's Mike? Uh, Mike? I don't know him. He's my friend from school. He's a little quiet. 
Oh, is he serious? Actually, no, he's not. He's very funny. Uh huh. Three. He's a little quiet. Very funny. Very funny. Very funny. Today. Yes, it sure is. And it's sunny too. No, it's not. Look, it's raining. Oh, oh well. Uh -huh. Four. Hey, Stu. How are you? Warm. Great, Phil. How about you? I'm okay. Hey, you look great. That's a nice suit. Thanks. It's new. Um, where's Ms. Collins? Uh, she's right over there. She's wearing a blue dress. Oh, I see her. Thanks. Uh-huh. No, she's not. She is wearing a suit. Okay, are you sure? La última. Okay, let's see. Ta -da! Yes, it is. Very good. Okay. Chin, chin, chin. Okay. In this one, we had to write the question. This one was very difficult for everybody because you were not analyzing the answer. Okay. A muchos les costó esta parte y ahí estuvieron trabados un montón porque no estábamos analizando la respuesta. Teníamos que analizar la respuesta para crear la pregunta. Si aquí la respuesta es no, they are not from England, they are from Australia. What is the question? Are your parents in in No, they in are not from oh. England. Okay, look at this. Are your parents in Peru? No, they are not in Peru. They are in Canada. No, they are not from England. What was the question here? Yo, bueno, yo le puse... in England, mm, no. De Nueva York, Nueva York, Nueva York. Look are at you this one. In England? Okay, the, no, they are then, not from England. Nueva York. No, no son de Inglaterra. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que nos falta aquí? Sería, ¿De qué lugar son? Ajá. But ¿De qué they lugar say son? they are not from England. Are, are your you, parents from England? Uh -huh. are, are your they, parents or are they from? From English. Yo le puse así, pero yeah. no salió mal. Ajá. Uh -huh. Are they from England? Are they from England? And they say, no. We are from New York. They are from Australia. And here you have, we are from New York. <clears throat> Uh-huh. <clears throat> so I I am going to show them to you because I don't almost don't have time. It says we are from New York. Okay. And in this one, you say, are they from England or are they from England? The two of them are, are correct. We are from New York. Where are you from? Right? Esa es la pregunta. Where are you Esa from? Joyita. Okay, where are you from? We are from New York. I think she's 22. Si alguien le dice la edad, ¿cuál es la pregunta que tenemos que hacer? How oh. old is she? No, my first language is in Spanish. It's Portuguese. La pregunta es, is your first language Spanish? Okay. And the last one? Yes, I am Japanese. I am from Tokyo. The question is, are you Japanese? That will be the question, right? So there you have it. In this one, you have to choose the correct adjective. What is the opposite of this one? Larry isn't serious. He is? ¿Cuál es el opuesto a serious? Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh -huh. Funny. Funny. Jen is really is a really good student. Uh -huh. She is very smart. Smart. Good, very good. My um, teacher isn't short. She is tall. Tall. Yes, he is. <laughs> My teacher isn't short. She's tall. Uno setenta y cinco, mucho honra. My brother is good looking. He is handsome handsome right there you go and you have them there 
The next one you have here, the next exercise that you have here, choose the correct answer to the question. And in this one, uh, let me see. It says, is this Sue's scarf? Is this Sue's scarf? No, it's not oh, yeah. hers. It's mine. Oh. Whose boots are these? The quién son esta botas? Maybe they are Katis. Maybe they are Katis. Okay. Are these Lisa's gloves? Yes, they are. They hers. Yes, they are hers. Whose hat is this? Whose hat is this? I think it's yours. Are these Peter and Katie's coats? Uh -huh. They are no. talking in plural, right? Two things. No, they aren't they. theirs. They are ours, oh. right? That's the form of answering. Very good. Now, almost the last one, right? Ya casi terminamos. Nos falta uno nada más. In this one, use the present continuous form of the verb. And in this one, Helen, can you help me with the first one? Are you wearing jeans? Mm. What is the correct option? Are you wearing jeans? No, I am wearing a, a suit. I am wearing a suit. Manuel, the next one. Is Mr. Sims wearing a tie? No, he isn't wearing a tie. No, he isn't wearing a tie. Ronnie, go ahead. Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Uh, yes, er, he is wearing a... Yeah. R, N, and Apple. Sue, two people, plural, they. No, no your words, say it first. Uh -huh. eh, sería la, la, pri, la primera, yes, he is wearing. Ok, la, la primera no puede ser posible porque no es he. En la pregunta tenemos are Ed and Sue. Ah, es Two que son people, dos, son dos, plural. son dos, son dos. No, mm -hmm. no, they are not. It's very hot. hot. It's very hot. Victor, the last one. It's very Hello? hot. Is it raining? Mr. Victor? No. Uh -huh. um, no, it's not. No. No, <clears throat> excuse me. No, it's not raining. It's snowing. No, it's not raining. It's snowing, right? Very good. And the last one that we had here, it's exactly as what we did in the previous uh, exercise, okay? En este tenemos que hacer justo lo que hicimos en el primero. But in this one, you have to select the two possible answers. We did it before. So that's why I am not going to mark it. Es el mismo ejercicio que hicimos en la sección número 5. Okay, so there you go. Here you have it. It's exactly the same exercise. So here it should be done with this one, okay? Si estamos aquí, terminamos. Tiene que estar toda marcada su plataforma, okay? Mañana durante el día me envían una foto de su progreso donde todo esté completado para que quede constatado ahí eh, que todo está listo. Para mañana, ¿qué vamos a hacer en nuestra clase final? El día de mañana, todos vamos a tener dos minutos para una presentación corta, donde vamos a expresar cómo fue nuestra experiencia en el módulo. ¿Okay? ¿Qué vamos a presentar? The first thing, ¿qué fue lo que más nos gustó del módulo? In English, for sure. What did you like the most? What did you like the most? What was the most difficult? What was the most difficult? What was the most difficult? 
Okay. The next one. Uh, what do you need to improve? What do you need to improve? And what are your expectations? What are your expectations for the next module? Okay. Ahí van las cuatro preguntas que tenemos que contestar mañana en la presentación oral. What did you like the most? What was the most difficult? What do you need to improve? What are your expectations for the next module? Okay. Al inicio de su presentación, obviamente tienen que presentarse, su nombre y toda la cosa ahí. Personal information. And then you are going to say, what did you like the most about the module? What was the most difficult? What do you need to improve? And what are your expectations for the next module? Okay. Tenemos alrededor de dos o tres minutos para cada uno. No es necesario que hagan una presentación, ok, así grande, ni maqueta, ni cartel, ni nada. Si lo quieren hacer, perfecto, ok, pero eso se va a pasar mañana en la clase en final. Pancarta, teacher. Si quieren en hacer pancarta, una pancarta, teacher. está bien, no hay problema, ok. No, so, no, no, no. That it's going to be tomorrow, ok. So, have a beautiful night, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for our final class, ok. Have a beautiful wow. night. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. 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 Take care.